Hey everybody, this is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is doing fabulous today. Oh. All right, last reading in this set, Aquarius. It is time for your Julian New Year reading. And if you're wondering what a Julian New Year is, I will very briefly explain it. I'm not going to get too far into the history lesson because on March 31st, Neon and I are going to do a live special for the transition for Aries, sorry, Pisces into Aries. The time for that will be announced as we get closer to the 31st. It's still a couple weeks out, so. Okay. The Julian New Year. A few hundred years ago, before we switched over to the Gregorian, Gregorian calendar, we were on the Julian calendar, and New Year's was celebrated the last week in March. Not all unlike what we do now. We just moved it a few months. But. Okay. Enough about that. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Please keep in mind... If it's not resonating, it's probably not your message. It's pretty general. It's not going to resonate with every Aquarius. You can throw the reading out altogether or check your moon rising or Venus signs. But time and energy are both fluid, so this can resonate at any time. It just doesn't just have to resonate during the transition period. And all things can, maybe vice versa. It may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And y'all are welcome here too. Come on in, have a seat. All right, one more shelf for Aquarius. And we're gonna get your cards on the table, y'all. Six of Wands in the upright. Page of Wands in the reverse. Slow victories. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Slow and steady wins the race, y'all. Alright. What were we supposed to take out of last year? The Four of Cups reversed. Coming out of a state of regret. Or some of you may have been just flat out ignoring, or you flat out ignored what the universe tried to hand you. What was your shining moment? Double reversed. Disconnects. Disconnects from toxic things. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Right now I got more fire on the board than anything else, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be in your chart, could be who you're dealing with. I don't know. It's not my journey, y'all. Okay, what did you have to let go of? Seven of Wands reversed. Some of you could have been letting go of a little bit of control. Or you had to let go of a state of being out of control. What can you expect from this year? The Tower reversed. It's my favorite card. I have a hard time seeing anything negative in a tower. Maybe it's because of what I've personally been through. This year you're gonna rebuild. The dust is gonna settle. And you're gonna rebuild the tower that came down around you. What's the challenge for the new year? Will of Fortune reversed. This can probably be said across the board for all the Zodiacs. The challenge is downward turns of events. In the times we're in right now, there's a lot of chaos going on. I can see that. How do you overcome this challenge? High Priestess reversed. We're going to get some clarity on that.
What needs to be your focus during this transition period? The Emperor reversed. How do you handle this transition? I'm looking at notes. How do you handle this transition? Justice reversed. What? Okay, this is where we get clarity. This is where it may have gotten a little confusing. Uh, which is tarot today? Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit. Spirit guides are angels. Universe, Source, Spirit. I ask for clarity for Aquarius, for the cards on the table, for the transition as Pisces shifts into Aries, and the Zodiac year renews. Page of Wands reversed again. Aquarius, I feel like new things are coming, but it's going to happen slowly. Just keep that in mind. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here for what Aquarius was supposed to take out of last year? Page of Swords reversed. Possible cut off in communication. Could have heard something you didn't want to hear. Filtered information. One more on that. High Priestess in the Upright. I think you knew. I think you saw red flags. I think you knew. You're coming out of that state of regret. You're possibly cutting off communication because you knew. And this is where we go into the devil reversed. Your shining moment. Why is the devil reversed here for Aquarius shining moment? Temperance reversed. Things were not balanced. The relationship was not balanced. Possibly toxic. You disconnected from it. You knew. You knew. Knight of Swords reversed.
blocked. Either you got blocked or you blocked somebody. And that was the shining moment when you said, okay, you know what? Um, something's not right here. This is not good for me. I'm walking away. That's cool. I mean, it's not cool that it wasn't right, but it's, it's cool that you, you listen to yourself and you disconnected from something toxic. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Seven of Wands, what Aquarius had to let go of. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? Five of Pentacles reversed. let go of the conflict some of you may have straight up ghosted like packed your crap and left mm. like I don't care if I gotta live in a cardboard box I'm walking away from this king of swords making a logical head over heart decision this possibly could have been a very emotional thing you had to let go of the emotional attachment. And you just left. Cut him off. Made a logical choice. It was like a self-preservation thing. That's, again, very cool. Why is the tower reversed for what... Aquarius can expect from this year? Why is the tower reversed here? Sun reversed. Possibly a Leo you're dealing with. Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries. Scorpio, Aries, Libra. A lot of upside down majors. I don't know how I feel about that. It's not going to be easy, and it's not always going to be happy. Three of Cups reversed. Rebuilding this tower may lead to more disconnects. Some of you may have walked away from a third-party situation, or are in the process of walking away, or will be walking away. more. Karma reversed, hermit reversed. Karma's judgment. Some of you might be might be able to expect someone trying to return, but I'm hearing they're trying to blindside you. They're trying to BS you. So, rebuild your tower the way you want. You have an opportunity here. What is the challenge for the new year? Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here for the challenge? Two of Wands reversed. Some of you may have a hard time letting go and moving forward.
Some of you may be hung up at that crossroads, not knowing which way to go. Nine of Cups in the upright. The challenge may be fulfilling yourself emotionally and not relying on other people to fill your cups for you. I'm getting a strange sense that whatever happened up here was very codependent and codependent to the point of being toxic. Just keep that in mind. Why is the high priestess reversed here for how to overcome this challenge? Ten of Cups in the upright. Six of Cups. throw one more on that. I think you had a lot of happy memories. I'm hearing you need to get out of your own way and shut off your ego. I'm hearing this was no one's fault. It's really easy to get into the he said, she said, and or he said, he said, she said, she said. You know what I'm saying. The world. Allow the cycle to come to an end. It might be extremely easy to go back, but this cycle needs to come to an end. Why is the Emperor reversed for the focus? The moon. Four of Pentacles. Whoa, hi. Seven of Cups. You're extremely vulnerable right now. Understand that you have options. Why is the moon card here? acting like you want to talk. Queen of Cups. <sighs> A 
be extremely careful who you give cups to and take cups from. Rain it in. You have plenty of options. Slow and steady wins the race. And don't be too quick to jump. See how this is all tying in here? How to handle this transition? The star. Right now, with his justice reversed, things are still very out of balance. Star card pops up to clarify. You need to heal. Ace of Cups reversed. Before you jump into a relationship, slow and steady wins the race. Look before you leap. You need to regain your balance and heal before you try to fill the cup again. Am I making sense? I'm just wondering. I really hope I'm making sense right now because it's making perfect sense to me. Okay. <coughs> All right. Eight of Cups in the upright, King of Swords in the reverse. You need to walk away from it and totally separate yourself from it emotionally and make logical decisions, not emotional ones. Two of cups, three of wands reversed. Seven of cups, six of pentacles. Reversed. There is a connection coming for you, probably several. But you really need to weigh your options so you don't get back into something imbalanced. Just saying. And I definitely see communication coming in and fast movement, but you're the one who controls the pace. You also have to keep that in mind. Slow and steady wins the race. Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. There's other things you need to focus on right now. You need to focus on money and getting money in the bank, getting yourself lined back up, keeping the bills paid, and avoiding conflict. Another three of wands reversed, a high priest, a seven of wands, and an eight of swords. Don't overthink this don't have an internal struggle over this. This was all meant to teach you something. It's time to walk away from the dock. Time to walk away from the dock. Let whatever life lesson was this was supposed to teach you come forth. You'll have that epiphany. I don't know what that lesson was. I wasn't there. I just read the cards, guys. That's where you have to go inside and figure it out. But don't like get all eight of swords about it and have it consume you either. Don't do that. There's 
too much other stuff going on in the world right now. Don't allow this to consume you. Don't allow any of it to consume you. That's no way to live. Emperor reversed. Rain it in. Right now you're extremely vulnerable. Just... Allow the slow and steady wins the race and look before you leap. All right, Aquarius, you guys are wonderful. I love you guys to pieces. I really do. You guys have been so supportive in the last year of us here at Fire Sign Tarot. And we look forward to another wonderful year of reading your cards. Okay? We've had a good time. I appreciate you. Okay, I think I'm going to close this out. Um, I have one bonus to do, and then I got a personal, and then I got to get ready for work. So. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Anybody in need of a personal reading, um, I'm wide open for that right now. Um, I have plenty of spare time, actually. So, take care. Love you to bits! And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.